Welcome back to another rock vlog. And uh, this one is gonna be less of a riff-based guitar rock approach, and more of just kind of like a grooving, vibing band type deal going on. And what is the best way to kind of get that? Is it actually playing with the band and having other instruments provide their input? No. Is it actually having good timing by practicing with the metronome? No. It's really all about making a backtrack with the shaker. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But what happens if we're still not vibing and jamming after just a shaker? Tambourine. All right, so apparently I am unable to get more than two simultaneous bars in time with either tambourine or shaker, but that's why working with loops is a beautiful thing. So I'm gonna track the guitar to this backing track, and then add drums and bass and all this stuff next. All right, so the guitar part is a little busier. It's more like a... Kind of like a Hendrixy rhythm thing. So what I usually like to do is double track uh, guitars, but instead on this one, I'm gonna use uh, kind of two microphones uh, to record it in stereo. I'm gonna use an i5, Audix i5, and an Audix D2 to kind of mic up the Mesa Boogie cab. This is really just going direct in to the cab, no pedals or anything, just uh, the clean channel driven a little bit. And uh, really we're just gonna try to get it vibing and get it going. too muddy once you get the other instruments in. So I think I'm going. super busy guitar type deal going on. I can really kind of like let loose on the drums and not have to be so tight. We're just going for a vibe thing. And uh, usually I track the guitars first and track the drums to the guitar since I'm more of a guitar player than a drummer. So sometimes I feel that my creativity on drums suffers because of that. But uh, this one's actually got kind of a cool groove.
All right, this next part is by far my favorite because for the first time I get to track my new bass, Ernie Ball Music Man Mondo. Fantastic. I even still have the tag on it because I'm one of those guys. And uh, I'm just excited to freaking rock this thing. This thing is like a slap. It's just, it's just so good. None of these is the actual song, and now it's kind of messed up because I've just been rocking this thing for like 30 minutes and I'm like ripping the flesh off my pointer finger because I have not played bass in a while. So that has become very problematic for the tracking of this bass track. All right, so we're doing vocals now. The song is called Eclipse. It's basically about like an event that takes place that kind of casts like a shadow, a darkness, casts you into the depths of darkness, and uh, just kind of to learn learn how to roll with living in uh, living in the shadows. So uh, let the let the singing begin, and I'm gonna try to channel my my inner metaphorical inspiration right now. Is there any coming back Once the dust is settling And choking on the powder in the air The stuck behind a rock The cassettes cover everywhere Living in the shadows of the shade In shadows is where my mind belongs. I'll take my chances there. We've been waiting for a long, long time. Waiting for this eclipse to end.